I, uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. What's the matter, sugar? Can't got your tongue? Just get your honey in there. Excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. Um, Miss Goulet? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Uh, no, I, I mean... Good heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? But 
I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh, nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. But... Now run along, you little scamp. Mister, are you all right? You're, you're bleeding. Huh, that's, that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here. I'll go get help. No! Don't. Don't get anyone. Are you alone? I I'm not sure what... I asked you a question. Are you alone? Yes, yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen, <coughs> I'm shot bad. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! You're standing on the brink of an extinction-level event. Set in motion by greedy half-wits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame. And though I realized our folly in time, less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting, overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully, you look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. I... I want you to find me. And tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. What is this? It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? For reasons you'll quickly come to realize. The device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this... I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <coughs> Go! <coughs> Go! Mister? Mister? Help! Help! I need help in here! Stay right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. 
I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me. I Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on their way. Look, I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I want is some simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated, do you? Because, uh, oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. Yeah, didn't think so. Let's, uh, let's just keep this nice and informal, shall we? See, I'm a simple, easy-going fella. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. That's what I find works the best. Now, my partner over here, he's a different kind of guy. A real stickler for the rules. Ain't that right, Burke? See, I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I, I don't know. So sometimes I gotta consult him, you know? Uh, in complicated matters, uh, he's got a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, uh, he's not much of a people person, so most people seem to prefer dealing with me. So tell you what, I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Now, do you mind telling me what this is? Take your time. Man, Far out.
Yes! Man.
Here, out on the road, everything seems so normal. Same moon, same night sky. After an hour of driving, it's easy to forget all about that dead world back there. How could Lambert have survived, though? If he came from the future, how did he not die along with everybody else? I just saw his body in the morgue. Now I'm driving out to talk to him alive. How does that work? Do you just leave a copy of yourself every time you use the box? Is that it? Are there copies of me all over the place now? What if he's not there? What if I changed something and he's not alive at all? Maybe all of this has been completely pointless. Maybe there's nothing I can do after all. Maybe these will be my last days, along with everybody else's. Ugh, the thought ties my stomach in knots. No, I better just not think about it and carry on. Did I bring enough gas? God, I hope I brought enough gas.